and TV show recaps. We review and read them too. As long as they're Black Brian and Lamar hosting the show, remain unbiased. In case you don't know, now you know. It's a love what love they show. Bring it down to the imagination. Disclaimer, no matter if we liked your movie, liked your show, or hated the show, or hated your movie, doesn't matter. We respect you, shout outs to you, and we support you, and we try to get everybody else to support you like we support you. Black on Black Prime, we stand on what we say, though. And just like always, if you didn't ask for our opinion, we didn't ask you to listen to it. So, sorry. Click and turn it off. (laughs) Kenny's dead, got a ride tonight. Uh, my little homie Kenny died tonight. <laughs> Told y'all that hey. baby was gone. I was fucking with that, that. Oh, oh, that's <laughs> fucked up. That's fucked up. They got that baby up out of here quick. Don't know why ain't no new Tyreek. Ain't no ain't no new Tariqs hey. because they not coming back. Speaking of Tariq, uh Tyrese, baby boy. If uh if your girl uh, hit you in the heat of the moment, would your reflex be to hit her back? What? <laughs> what are we talking I, about? <laughs> I'm asking you because I was watching Baby Boy before we started recording. Oh, oh okay. And uh, she was beating on him. She, first, she punched him in his chest while he was sitting on the couch. Yeah. Then he hard. stood up to leave. She punched him hard, too. She punched yeah. him like a nigga. And then he, he put her up against the door and she just started throwing wild-ass punches and punched him in his jaw. Or no, punch him in his eye. Yeah. Is your reflex to swing back? Nah, it's to move. So I won't swing at you. Yeah, so I'm, I'm saying, like, say if she connected. What's mm-hmm. your reflex? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've never been in that situation. I've been in a situation where I've been swung on by a woman, but I, I ducked it and dipped her. <laughs> so it was like, you know what like I mean? Like you dipped her? <laughs> yeah, like I was like, because like I saw it coming because it was slow. So it was like, I saw it was like, whoop, and I... Grab the legs and I put her down so she wouldn't swing on me. But I was like, hey, I nigga, don't to... make it nice. You just, <laughs> I put her down. I was like, I wasn't trying to hurt nobody. I was like, you're not gonna swing on me though, right? Yeah, put that was let me, let me place you somewhere because you yeah, wild. yeah, calm, calm the fuck down. Yeah. Um. So okay, so so if we knew if we knew Jody, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we see we know we know Yvette too. We see Yvette at the grocery store. She got a black eye. Jody got a black eye too. And then when you talk to Jody, like, nigga, what the fuck happened to her? He tells you the story. How do you react to Jody? As my friend? Yeah. I was like, nigga, like, that's crazy. Like, I'll be trying to get like more information. He was like, man, hit me. I heard her. I was like, no, you can't. I, I probably like, no, you can't hit no woman, bro. And like, we kind of mm-hmm. had that conversation with him. And he was just like, man, you hit me. I was like, you weird. <laughs> I'm like, I like, like you fired on her for real. Like you a weirdo. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can hang with that nigga after that one. It'd yeah, be, it'd be yeah. kind of weird. Like if it was you, because I've known you for a long time, mm-hmm. I'd probably have a longer conversation with you. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, like what happened? You, <laughs> you're not that type of person. So at like, all, like, you a you a big ass nigga hitting on women, bro. Like, should we be doing this movie shit? <laughs> <laughs> you want some weirdo shit? But hey, if I was Jody, I think if she connected. Mm-hmm. I would just leave the room like, um, it's like, yeah, you hit me in my eye, but I'm still not going to hit you. I'll be mad. as I'll probably break some shit, but yeah. my retaliation is never this. Because he was already, when he when he, he got hit, he was already lunched over walking that way. She's chasing him, yeah. Mm-hmm. Get away, though. Like, don't. Yeah. Yeah, it, that's So with him, it wasn't even a reflex. It's like, nigga, you kind of thought about that before you swung back. Yeah, you hit me the first time, I probably would have left. The first chest shot, I've been like, man, I'm out. You, like, you're you doing too much. You you're doing too fucking much. You ain't even locking me in here. Yeah, that nigga. I don't think, because he didn't cock his fist back and hit her, right? Like, he kind of mm-hmm. just, he turned and slapped the shit out of her. 
So oh no, nah, he that he turned with a, the yeah. That was a that was like a reflex like move, but I don't nah. know. I mean, it was a it was a, it was a movie. <laughs> it was a movie. So I don't know hundred percent sure what the nigga was trying to do. But in real life, if somebody just because he already took the face shot too, yeah. And then he was just like, oh, snap. Like, he's leaning over, and she's yeah. beating on his back. I told you, yeah. that nigga was like, bitch, get off me. <laughs> I, I've had a woman beat on my back before, and I hemmed her up. But I didn't I didn't slam. I didn't swing. It's like you said, because I'm too big for that. So I hemmed her up. And then I regular. left the room. It's like, you yeah. fucking crazy? You have to regulate the situation. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, all but, right, let me, let me let you know that I'm stronger than you by just I'm restraining you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah I, I can't fire on you for real because that's nah. like that's what I'm saying. His it's for him, it wasn't a reflex. For him, it wasn't an accident. Cause nigga, you cut he's blunched over away from her. He didn't turn around like back up. That nigga turned around full swing. Yeah. He said, I told you don't fucking nah, nigga. That was like that's like Turner in there. Nigga, that was on purpose. Nigga, I, I have a story about that whole shit or whatever, right? Cause uh I remember when this movie first came out, I was at my cousin's house. <laughs> Um, and his stepfather was there, and we was watching the movie. Mm. So we watching the film, and that part happens, and this nigga comes out of nowhere. Yep, that's what you got to do. You hit him and eat him. You know what I mean? It's just like if you you hit him, you got to make sure you eat that pussy though. I was like, I'm like probably like 15, 16 when she came. I'm like, hey, what's up with your pop? <laughs> what's up with this nigga? He was just like, you better eat that. You do that, you better eat that thing. He's a big nigga, like big fat nigga. Like, what better, the fuck? You hit him, you better eat it right after. That's what I'm talking about. I'm like, nigga, this is a nigga that's what your mama. <laughs> oh, um, nigga, that's what I'm like, nigga. Do you, like, is your mama all right, nigga? It was just like, man, she ain't with him no more. But I just thought that was like a weird. It was, it was like a that's weird, weird thing to fuck say to say to somebody. Some son. young, some young niggas. We were young. We were like 14, 15 years old. You gotta hit him and beat him. Nigga, to your girl, son. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad that I never had to, like, have, like, an asshole stepfather. <laughs> I, I, I have. Man. An asshole? Not fun. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nigga. Oh, man. We'll yeah. talk offline, nigga. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like, Are you crazy? I had to kill that nigga, bro. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga got to die. Yeah. Oh. Shit. Shit. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Power. I'm my stepdad and now he's incredible, man. Love him. But nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga had to grab some niggas by their pants to get them out the house. Nigga. <clears throat> Anyways. Yeah. I just I brought that conversation up because it's gonna be a little longer than we talk about this bullshit here. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. Um mm -hmm. power. So we find out real quick that the baby is not, the baby didn't make it. Shout out to young girl Bree. She agree with Lamar. Mm -hmm. Hey, like it's funny because every, everything I predicted it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> you thought the uh, what's his name? Uh, La what was that? Uh, Lorenz Tate's brother was gonna live, and it gone. I said he did in the motherfucker. I said nah, he gonna wake up in the hospital. Like, that nigga character not big enough. <laughs> and they got so everything Brian here. said literally is what happened, yeah. and I I think the problem is. I went from watching Kevin Hart's show to watching this, and my mind was on what incredible ways they could write this. I got to remember, and I think I say this every time we start these seasons, I got to remember to bring my fucking expectations down here. Yeah. I got to remember to drown my fucking expectations and just watch it. <laughs> it, it just watch the shit. Like, shit happens so fast, so random. You don't know what's what's real was not um he's confirmed dead because we know in the power universe if you're on that table you did you out of there yeah that's the only way we know if you're on that table you did yeah so no baby what's his name is dead now um uh this episode was kind of strange a little bit i felt like it was a little all over the place um yeah. with, like, I, it was hard to follow and it's funny because my mom is here and she was like asking me a bunch of questions about it. i was like mom look like this ain't one of them shows like you literally <laughs> gotta watch this shit from jump like you gotta watch all the power yeah all of the trees like it's too many characters the name and they but they go from being crooked to not crooked first they were monet now they're not with monet it was just, it's just like weird it's all over the place 
every episode it could be something different. So and I it's can't a thousand you know names. Who, yeah, I can't let you know who's who yet and why this person is like this. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it just whatever happened up the episode prior. That's why that person is like now. Drew, I don't, I don't know what Drew was doing. Drew is on from he's helping Monet. He's not fucking with Monet. And he's helping Carter, but I don't know if he's helping Carter just to get close to him to help Monet. So I don't know. Who knows? I, I don't, I don't know, and I'm not going to try to overthink it. The only thing I caught out in here was uh, well, the only thing I caught that was of substance to me was when Effie got that text from mom or got that call from mom because it mom. takes me back to when I kept saying this is back when uh original power where mm-hmm. uh Tariq was selling drugs in her dorm and she got that nigga put out and she texted somebody and was like he's gone mm-hmm. we never got back to who the fuck she texts never got back to it I don't want to say who, who her mom is or how important she is because you never know in this shit her mama might be fucking uh, Jill Scott or something. It's, you never know who the fuck her mom is or who how important she is. Her mom That's what power An- does. Her mom might be Angela's sister. <laughs> so literally weird. could be. Yeah, it's just like literally could be. But I just know I, I've always held on to who the fuck did she text in that moment? Hey yo, um, Yasmin fourteen. <laughs> How many years went by, bro? How many years went by, cuz? I'm trying she to figure out that room as a grown-ass woman like, Tariq! <laughs> Want to see my room? It's like, what, you a freshman? In college. <laughs> she coming to Stansfield next year. Man, Tariq's And she fight. wasn't with the mom. Jasmine was with Grandma, so we're grandma. saying Grandma's dead? Like, what, what? what's going on here? Hey, ain't no tell, man. Like everything is just so deep. I feel like they just filling up scenes now at this point. Cause like right now, I'm thinking Tariq's mom is kind of like a pointless character. Not yet. She ain't gonna be pointless next season, next uh spinoff. Well, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just talking about like this one we really don't need her. I feel like they no. keep showing her to keep her relevant, but we really don't need her. Like he's mm-hmm. pulling up on her to get advice and shit like that. And she in the situation she in, she's all of this stuff happened because of Tasha at the end of the day. So it's just like she's mm. finally at that point to where she wants to give good advice on how to get out. But at the same time, she ain't stopping Tariq either. Like, Tariq, hey, she's, go ahead. Do you remember why she's uh, in protective custody? <laughs> <laughs> My mom asked me the same question. She was just like, oh, she's in, I was like, she's in protective custody with witness protection. I'm like, yeah. She was like, why? I'm like, <laughs> I can tell you why. <laughs> I remember. I remember. She's in protective custody because Tommy was trying to kill her. That's right. That's right. That's but right. also, because I, I was like, is the I was like, when you getting put in protective custody, is it because the cops want you to be like a, a informant or whatever? Nah, she's because she's running from Tommy. She was supposed to be an informant, but then Tommy, somewhere along the line, was. She's not protected dead. by the cops, right? She's protected by like some like, FBI. Yeah, yeah, like something else. Some some shit, some government shit. But Tommy's dead uh, in the eyes of everybody who knows Tommy. Right. Therefore, there's no reason for protective custody anymore. Hey. Also, her telling Tariq, she's talking like she's still in the running from Tommy, like they didn't piece it up. Because she's like, do what you got to do to get back to us. Mm-hmm. I'm here now. Like I'm Tommy can literally be here with us right now because y'all friends again. Tyree act like they're about to be family again. Like it was like, yo, after all but this they is can over, be. After all this is over, I'm gonna come kick it with y'all and live with y'all. Like nigga, you were a murderer. But he <laughs> he can though. <laughs> I, I have a bit I have a prediction that could honestly like make this story not good, but it's just like I feel like it was what the I think it would bring up a lot of good reviews, and I think that they could bring something back with it. Is if everything ends to where Tariq is standing on his own, like all, like everybody's gone. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just like Tariq finally beat the game or whatever, right? And then his daddy come and shoot him in the back of the head. That would be cold, it's and that like, would just that like, would that like, would you know, never happen. You know how? Uh, how did that one show in? Uh, Raising Canaan with um Joey Badass's character. 
How yeah. you, like, you see him out of nowhere, like he just kind of like step up. It's just like if that happens to where this nigga walk up with a trench coat and Tariq is kind of like sitting there, like, yeah, it's about like to be like he about to, you know what I mean? Like, I, I got past my dad or whatever, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, I, I'm about to go pick up my mom, and that nigga dome his ass. And then you just see him put on a hoodie and just walk away. And then you will be the fool out of me. <laughs> you gonna stop that fucking song? <laughs> that that would be incredible. That'd be wild. But that never happened. I don't know, man. He wasn't on he wasn't on the table, bro. Nobody saw a ghost. Hey, die. you know what? Yeah, you're right. Let me shut the fuck up. <laughs> he wasn't on the table. You're right. Yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't put nothing past the show no more. I, I just literally can't. The fact that they ending it, I felt like they could do whatever the fuck they want to. The fact that they ending the show, whatever spinoff they try to do, or whatever, I felt like nobody's gonna care about some of the spinoffs, depending on who's in it. I feel like they oh. need to keep they need to keep certain people in these spinoffs. No one's gonna, gonna marry Kane. Hmm? No one's marrying Kane. Hey, marry me. Trash. She gives nigga a kiss after she just probably gave David some hit. Yeah. It's crazy. This nigga was just like, do this. So I, I don't know his motives anymore. It's like, do you want to be around Noma that bad? You just want to be, he wants to no, be the man. Noma's like half half and half partners with Noma that bad. Like I'll be feeling like at this point, that nigga about to crash out when he realizes that Noma is kind of just is definitely all business. Cause when he asks her, it's just like it's it's up to you. If this is all business, like I hate nigga, to, I nigga like her like a lot. I don't, I don't want to do it, but I just keep the writer in my mind is creating paths to something else to happen. So this just, it's not going to happen. I, I'm not going to give the credit uh, to the writers to do this, but Kane marries Noma. Then Kane kills Noma and then takes over her business. Now Kane is the man and he brings Effie up because that's who he's really in love with to be his woman. Easy, easy, easy path to something great. Not gonna happen. I agree with no. Uh, Kane's gonna kill Norma. Mm-hmm. I agree. With After that. they get married, so he can take over everything she got. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Um, I don't know what's going on, with Effie, because of that call you was talking about. I feel like there's mm-hmm. something, there's something hidden in there because Effie's character is kind of becoming like a little weird to me too. So I feel like mm-hmm. they, something's coming up with her. Yeah, it's it, whoever her mom is. Yeah. It's going to be a big deal because when she got Tariq, she got rid of Tariq. She texts whoever the fuck that was and said he's gone. It's done or some shit like that, she said. So they're going to give us a flashback. The beginning of the next episode, we're going to get a flashback of that text message. I thought Diana was going to die this episode because I saw her trending. You think Diana's going to die, period? Diana's a superwoman, though. She had the, she got stomped out, had the uh, miscarriage, got out of the hospital, got dressed, went beat the lady with a skillet Nigga, she and high- then the dumbest the dumbest shit i've ever seen in my fucking life you killed this lady you saw kids toys so you go in the child's room then you call Tariq. Tariq come over there you want to show him as a kid because he don't believe you i guess so you want to show him it was a kid there mm-hmm. then you, you you quietly close the door as soon as the door closed what are we gonna do <laughs> What we, what we going to do? We could just clean up the body. Now the little boy comes and looks. Oh, shit. He hurt us. But what are we doing? How the fuck Mary J. Blige know where y'all at? And why she comes through the back door? <laughs> they just pulled up. Tariq, everybody pulled up at the same address. Um, Diana got fingerprints everywhere. Diana got fingerprints on the Nerf ball. She got fingerprints on the book. <laughs> like, what are we doing? She got fingerprints on the skillet. You know what I mean? It's like you did it. You could take the body all you want. Why I you in this lady's shit, house, man? Why you in this lady's house, man? I don't. I Drew, don't want to hate this shit, but I hate this shit. Drew also strangling niggas with uh pieces of t-shirts and hanging them on the uh <laughs> hanging them on the window. A nigga leaning like Michael Jackson hanging. Like who hangs themselves like that? That's worse than the door. Like, nigga, I'm just going to lean like Michael Jackson to hang myself. Like, if somebody going to believe that shit. No, I <laughs> hey, man, ain't nothing really to talk about. What's it called? Um, Tariq and Braden's, like, Braden is becoming, like, a dope head character, like, to where he's being, um, 
like he he wants the uh the old business that Effie has. <laughs> so they're gonna give him that business to go do this like weird little they're they're going into a police officer's home with his wife. It has stupid story of why she lets him in the house. She's knocking on the door. Like some if I go to somebody, if I go to check on somebody, I knock on the door and you're not in there. I'm opening that motherfucker. You're in the you're somewhere else in the house. I gotta yeah. find you now. She's just knocking. Yeah. You in there? You in there? No, the sink uh, ain't that loud. Um, do they only sell <laughs> do they only sell cocaine at the concerts? I think so. I think that's that's the whole thing. When they do a show, they do the whole merch table with drugs in it. So in between they don't sell nothing. Only at the shows do they sell cocaine. That's what they show. Cool. Mm-hmm. That's all they show. They're making they're making a a bundle. There's like two hundred shirts sold. Yeah. Like, share, subscribe, talk to people. <laughs> <Yeah, bro. Yeah. laughs> Let us know how y'all feel about this show. Oh man. Hey, I'm out. I'm I'm out too. You out. You out. <laughs> Peace. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube and Spotify and follow us on IG and TikTok.